what up citizens and welcome back today guys we do not have good news unfortunately um, let's just start by saying that today I woke up with some pretty pretty terrible news and you guys already read the title you guys already know what's going on Anthony Bourdain one of the biggest like creators content creators and influencers in terms of the travel community not even one of the biggest he is the biggest and the travel community in inspired us in so many ways uh is no longer alive that's the news that i woke up today um and it's a real tough pill because you know I, I hear a lot of people being like oh my gosh like you know we're fans of the shows blah 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 and we are really fans of the show when i tell you we are fans of the show and his content um, which in a lot of times, in a lot of ways, inspires our content as well. Um, for an example, like, I feel like we, not even I feel like, we've watched every single video of Anthony Bourdain's, even when he was doing like documentaries and vlogs, you know, it's really tough to see this guy uh, no longer here, man. Like, I would like to say that, and I don't know if I speak for Veronica when I say this, However, I feel like Anthony Bourdain inspired, in a lot of ways, myself to travel. And like, really, really travel. I mean, you know, his opinion was very, it was honest, it was unbiased, it was legitimate, and it was respectful. And people appreciated him for that. And because of that, um, you know, he opened up the doors to so many people, and opened up so many people's eyes to want to travel, want to going out, like want to be able to see other cultures, learn the histories, eat the cuisines, you know, eat their food and just kind of live in their life for a little bit. And I think that's the beauty of what he's given us. So today I feel like we really mourn his passing. And it's really, really unfortunate because Veronica and I were just talking, like there was clips that you guys seen like in our Dubai vlogs and stuff to where we watched his his episodes like back to back to back and we've been to a few places around the world that Anthony Bourdain has recommended and when I tell you stellar like my man didn't miss a beat everything was great like we vlogged some of them and I mean I feel like in our household he will truly truly be missed I'd say, you know, I believe he'd be very, very missed around the world, but in our household, for sure, truly, truly missed. Isn't that right, my love? Yeah, it's very, very sad, and um, I just feel like if there are people out there that are struggling with things, like, please say something. You don't have to suffer in silence, um, you know, like, and if you feel like you have no one to go to, like, send us an email, DM yeah. us. Like, I don't want anyone to feel like they don't have anywhere or anywhere to turn or anybody that will just lend a, an ear. Um, you know, that's, that's a very scary thought to feel like that's the only way out. Yeah. And I just, I don't want anybody to feel like that. So, um, right. if there's anybody out there that feels sad or whatever, like, there's so many resources and outlets and if you don't feel like that's for you then just open your eyes because I mean here's two people right here that just would be so sad to think that there's anybody out there feeling like that right and I mean you know it's it's unfortunate because the way I see it is you know life is so beautiful it's 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 ironic because what you learn from his show and what you learn from his content from traveling the world is that life is so beautiful it's so precious you know everybody from all over the world one way or the next are connected if it's religious if it's political if it's you know whatever whatever you know qualm you have we're all connected some way somehow and i think that's the biggest takeaway i got from his show um it's 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 tough because for his show that shows the importance of life and living and traveling you know he was in a position to where I, I think at the biggest time where he needed that, it may have not been, and I, I can't speak on that, but it may have not been given to him. So guys, if you're ever in a position and you have nobody to talk to, there's so many outlets you guys can talk to. You know, Veronica's absolutely correct. Drop down, let us know, comment. You know, we would, I would love to have a conversation with you guys. Like, you guys are loved. You guys are very loved, man, and never forget that. Um, you know, it's just unfortunate today that it's like a lot of people don't think about mental illness and mental health day to day until something like this happens and then it's always the okay well you know man I could have done something 
you can do something now. Call up somebody that you haven't talked to, tell them that you miss them, tell them that you love them. Call up your friends, just see how they're doing, tell them you appreciate them. You know, say thank you to somebody that adds to your life and somebody that you truly appreciate it and you never say, hey, thank you so much. Even if it's for small things like, hey, thank you so much for, you know, talking to me the other night or thank you so much for, you know, having dinner with me. Like, whatever it is, appreciate the people that are around with you and just, like I said, man, even if it's a text message, hey, just thinking about you, I hope all is well. It's very important that we do that because people get so caught up with work. People get so caught up with business and paying bills and expenses of just life, like living, you know, and it's really hard because you get so wrapped up in the day-to-day -day monotony of life that you just, a lot of people don't have time to just stop or let me phrase that, aren't thinking to make the time to stop and say, hey listen, you, that person that's in my life, thank you so much, we appreciate you, I love you, so on and so forth. So if you haven't told somebody you love them and you appreciate them, do that ASAP. Do that ASAP, guys. Also, you know, this is, this is really tough for us, because like, when I tell you, he was our favorite traveler. I mean, I grew up watching Wild On. I don't know if you guys remember Wild On uh, with Brooke Burke. It used to come on on E. And that was the first time in my life as a kid I've ever seen anybody travel for a living. And it was Brooke Burke and she was traveling. She was going to all these places. And I was like, wow, you know, her life can't get any better. I thought that until I seen Anthony Bourdain's travel channel. <laughs> and I thought to myself, this guy's amazing. He tied up culture, cuisine, food. He went to places and spoke to people that didn't have voices or platforms to have respectable audiences listen to them. And he gave them audiences. Very unbiased and truthful, you know, truthful opinion. And that's something you don't get in this day and age, truth. And I feel like he was very original and he was true to himself. And, to his viewers and he'll definitely be missed man so you know much love to to all the all the people out there that have supported him and you know prayers to his family and it's just it's a tough time tough time guys but um you know like veronica said if you guys are ever going through anything please 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 feel free to comment dm us email us like you know we're always here for anybody you know even if we never met you it doesn't matter you know we appreciate you we respect you and you know wish you all the best so on that note, honey. We got love for you guys. Mad love for you guys. Take Mad care, love. Be safe, be well, and tell the ones around you that you love them. Absolutely. And I'm gonna start right here. Honey, I love you. Citizens, I love you guys. Stay up, live life beautifully, and until tomorrow. Peace. No, no, no.